The Acme Auto Company manufactures vehicles on an assembly line. The frame is welded, the engine dropped in, the body attached, the glass installed, and finally the wheels mounted. But the plant is struggling and productivity has dropped. Dealers are angry about delays, revenues have plummeted, and head office is threatening to close the plant. Sam, the plant manager, has called in Ricky, foreman of the body station, to explain line delays. Emily, a business co-op student, is shadowing Sam to learn about production lines. You wanted me? Yeah. Look, what's going on down there? You stopped the line again? The whole upstream process is desynchronized? You gotta fix this. Me and the guys discussed it. We're not taking a unit till we're ready. Simple as that. But the engine station is blocked. They can't do their work. Parts are building up in the warehouse and suppliers can't unload. We're paying a fortune for offload delays. Nothing I can do. I got three guys off right now. If the engine guys can't do their job, get them to do some body work till we're back up to speed. They can't do bodies. They don't have the equipment or the training. You need replacements. That would blow my budget. And this is just a temporary delay. Why are you shitting on me anyway? Everyone stops the line. The transmission robot broke Monday and no backup plan. The glass station cratered Thursday when they ran out of windshields. Trish said they didn't even know how many to order. It's crazy. It's the same number of windshields every day. I'm just saying, everything's slower since the new QA guy started. He's making them polish fenders before he clears vehicles off the line. He's what? That's not quality. That's just time and cost. The point is, it's not the body station. It's the system. Two more welders just quit. They're paid by the unit, and they can't work because the line isn't moving. Not my problem. Yeah, I know. Not your problem? The glass station doesn't know how many windshields to install, even though it's the same every day. And when workers call in sick or a robot breaks, there's no replacements or backup plans. And sorry, who are you? Emily's a co-op student from the business school. Units are blocked at the wrong stations. People without training or equipment are doing the wrong job in the wrong place. Suppliers can't unload and dealers can't get product. We have issues. Do your foremen understand their accountabilities? Their what? Their expectations. What they have to do to keep this plant running. Do they have performance targets? Everybody's doing their best, Emily. <sighs> Let me reframe this. What's the best place to install windshields? Who has the skills? The glass station, obviously. What if something goes wrong at the glass station? Someone doesn't show up for work. Equipment malfunctions. Who's expected to solve the problem? What do you mean, who? One of the welders? A wheel guy? Well, of course not. They don't know anything about windshields. It has to be the glass foreman that solves that. So would you say the glass foreman is accountable to make sure windshields get installed, even if there's challenges? Hold it. You can't just make people accountable. What if they can't install windshields because a wheel robot breaks and the line stops? But the wheel team would be accountable for that. They would need a contingency plan. Exactly. Every phase of the process falls in someone's accountability zone. When something goes wrong, there should be backup plans because welders can't solve glass problems. Of course. That's so obvious. So why don't our teams have backup plans? Because backup plans are hard. Consider this. What if three guys from the body station were off at the same time? Bodies that aren't being mounted in the line stops. Who needs to fix it? Well, the body foreman. But if the body station shuts down, who suffers? The guys at the body station? No. They stop the line to take the pressure off. Gives them time to catch up. So who's affected most? Who needs the line to flow? Other than customers? The welders, I guess. They can't work and they don't get paid. So the body station stopped the line to solve their problem, which they don't have to solve as long as they can stop the line. The people who need the problem solved can't fix the problem. That's a recipe for failure. So what will you do if you were me? Make sure everyone understands what part of the work they're responsible for. Nobody tries to innovate or solve a problem unless it's a problem for them and clarify that stopping the line isn't actually a solution. I don't know, Emily. We shouldn't have to change how we work. Sam, we need to get a consultant.